Praise the Lord, dear friend. Thomas Manton IV here. I'm speaking about the blessing of the Father. The Father God, Almighty God, blesses fathers, and the fathers then carry His glory to His children on the earth. Um, a lot of a lot of people are disjointed because they don't have a good father, and I know what I'm talking about. You know, all of us have experienced, you know, different things, different ways. God bless you that are coming on. Please do share this uh, with everyone else. I'll talk to you after the broadcast. Gladly, I'm just going to deliver this word right now. <clears throat> the Lord is... Um, make sure you type something. Tell me where you're watching from. So you don't just pop up as one of those, you know, uh, people coming across it. Type something. Put an emoji, click, hi, anything quick if you're in a hurry. Love sign, sun sign. We can communicate and talk. And I'll gladly do that after the broadcast. Do you share this. Let everyone else in the world know that God is speaking that there are true fathers, spiritual fathers, more than natural fathers maybe. Natural fathers are good, but sometimes they uh, don't fulfill everything that a child will need. Even an adult will need, but there are fathers that can bring blessing. I'm thrilled and honored to be one of them a spiritual father to many in the earth. It's a great privilege. And uh, it's because of the glory of God. It's because of the anointing. You know, it's just that to him be all the praise. We didn't have the ability to do anything supernatural ourselves. Nobody does. I want to read from Isaiah 49 today, a word from the word in just a moment. But I want to say this. I've seen grown people that uh, have grown up in, you know, adverse situations, and it's affected them so deeply emotionally and psychologically that even in their adult life, there's still that inner wounded child running around with them, in them. Isn't it sad to have to carry that kind of luggage? Well, t I'll tell you, as a father under the anointing, I want to break that thing. I want to affirm people. You were abused by uh, a, a lack of you know, wisdom and intelligence uh, by the parents, parentally, familially, by family, by even by relationships you've had, and you're you're all messed up inside. I've seen people that they they look good on the outside, you know, and they are brilliant, you know, they have ability to do so many things. And yet there's a woundedness in them that damages them from relationships. And sometimes the Lord would even say, you know, someone can't have a relationship with somebody because of the amount of spiritual horror that they're carrying inside. You can't see it from the outside, but it's in there. It's really tragic when you stumble upon it and you think you had a good thing um, to interact with a person and then they have all this... Uh, refuse, you know, mess on the inside of them. It's really sad. And it's not your fault, you know, so you shouldn't feel too bad, but you feel bad because of the loss. And you feel bad because of the state of being that they're in that's in is painful. So I want to say I'm breaking this by the Holy Ghost. I'm breaking this cycle of uh, woundedness that's in people. Now, the Lord spoke in Isaiah 49 about this. So, it's a reference to, from then, from, what I, from the Word, but what I'm saying here now. I break this thing in Jesus' name. I felt this afternoon, I felt like a prophetic fire is going to come through this screen, wherever you're watching from, and uh, a fire of a sword of the Lord going to touch you, and just uh, like a surgeon's... Um, equipment to get in you and to remove that problem and let you go free to break all that pain 
to poke that thing and rip it out, to surgically remove it in the spirit. And you need that. If you want to go on strong in life, you got to get rid of all these things that are, you know, festering, moving inside of you. Sometimes more than people know. Because of things you've been through. And maybe to no great fault of your own. Just because of the evil that's been around you. The evil that's been in your, in your midst. And it's really tragic. So the devil would like to scar you. Hurt you. Damage you. That you can't function at all. With a great fullness of the capacity of the power and the gifting and the talent and the glory for success and prosperity and, you know, a, a great life. But we can't allow that to happen. So as a spiritual leader, as a prophet of the Lord, as a pastor, as a spiritual father, I'm saying this, I'm breaking this thing in Jesus' name. You're going to go free from today. I don't have to shout, oh, twist around, do a backflip in my vehicle here, Ooh, upside down and back in the seat. I have a sunroof. I can, you know, hit the eject button, fly up in the air, do three somersaults and land back. And then uh, that's only in the movies. You ever hear these preachers that think they have to scream to get a message across? I think intelligent people can't even handle that. I've had so many complaints from people, and I don't like it myself. Unless someone gets on the, under the anointing and raise their voice a bit. You know, that's happened to me a lot. You can raise your voice and get excited when the power is moving, and that's great. But all this thing, like the style of speaking is screaming. Do you do that when you talk to your friends or your spouse or your... Come on, man. You sit in a restaurant, you're like, hell, 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 yeah. You know, I need some more napkins. I need some more iced tea. I'll take another cappuccino. How? Do you do that? You know, foolishness. And when people start going all out there making all that noise, I'm like, who are you making all that noise? You're disturbing the peace. It's a crime in America. <laughs> I don't know about over here. The decibel levels, they say, yeah. <laughs> Except for these people making noise from that. Oh, let me not say. You know, that stupid building where they have the speakers, you know, making all that noise, disturbing the peace. You don't need to disturb the peace to get a message across. There's an anointing flowing right now. I tell you, the presence of the Lord is going to touch you and deliver you. You, you know, I prophesy this upon you right now in Jesus' name that it iko shakataya kache koto. In these days, today, beginning today, in a new way, replay this broadcast, play this again, share this with other people, let this thing roll, man. Get out the people. And the Lord is going to put his hand upon you and begin to wrestle with those things that are inside of you and begin to remove them from you. Now in this season of time, forevermore, you will be a free person, a healed person, an emotionally well person, a psychologically well person. There'll be no more insecurity, rejection, pain, resistance. You know, you see people like to have pride. Well, pride is tied to fear. And then anger can also work in there too. Those three stupid emotions. Fear, anger, and pride. You know, you have pride like because you're wounded. You don't want to, you know, lighten up in situations. And anger because you're angry at everybody and everything. About because of what happened to you. And fear because you... <sighs> fear is a terrible thing. But they like to travel together. like They're like evil, stupid, defeated devil Jenga cousins, you know, Majingas. Cousins. Pride, fear, and anger. If you feel fear and you feel insecure and you feel like messed up and you feel pride or, well, let me leave pride, but anger and all of those things working together, something's wrong. Excuse me. And you need to be free. You need to be completely free. So there's a deliverance anointing coming through this broadcast. Again, I'm not going to do three backflips and run out and run, jump back in and scream and, you know, make all kinds of uh, screeching noises. 
but you're going to be free. I prophesy as your dad. I prophesy as God's proper prophet here. I prophesy over you, precious one, that the Lord is going to cause you to rise now. Without hindrance, because of the touch of God that's upon you. And you're going to feel such peace after this deliverance. You're going to feel such uh, tranquility and solace. And you're going to feel so smooth and so relaxed. And you're going to feel so, um, you know, your purpose is going to come back. You're going to feel new ideas, you know, flowing through you, you're going to feel a, a new flood of an anointing, and I, I decree and declare the prophetic anointing is coming upon you. The prophetic glory is going to be released upon you. In Jesus' name, it is released right now. Wow. Receive it from the Lord. Thank you, Holy Spirit. feel the atmosphere like there's a wind blowing and there's peace in the air and you know things will begin to connect for you like God will show you his favor so I love you and I'll begin to breathe new winds of glory I, upon you I was reading in Isaiah 49 I don't think I can even read through the whole thing right now let me give you the, that as a homework assignment the early part of the chapter is really bad. It's talking about the wickedness of sorceries and things that people were doing. But then you get to about the seventh verse and it starts to shift and starts to talk about actually before that the, the sixth verse and the fifth verse starts to talk about restoring the preserved ones. There's a, there's a power from heaven coming to restore the preserved ones. In other words, God knows who's good and who's not good. And if you're good, he's going to stick up for you. He's going to step in for you. That's what a father does, you know. He'll stand in for his child. <laughs> his son and his daughter and help them. And they begin to talk about the blessings and the covenant of God. To release people in the ensuing verses here, the furthering in verses, the preceding is before. So, what is after? Anyway, there's another word. I'll, I'll get it. Said, even kings will see you and, are, and, and you'll arise, and princes shall also worship because of the Lord who's faithful, the Holy One of Israel. He has chosen you. He has chosen me as his voice and his oracle. And he's chosen you as a recipient of the blessing. So receive that. He'll show mercy upon them. Verse 10. They'll not hunger nor thirst. They'll be provided for. And it goes on and on and on talking about. And then from the 14th verse, he talks about how God is going to remember Zion it seems like they thought they were forgotten, but the Lord says, prophetically to you, I've never forgotten you. I've never forgotten what I promised you, says the Lord. I have never forgotten you. No. So... We want to strive for perfection, but we need the Lord's help. We need the Lord's help. And, and I release this grace and glory upon you right now. In Jesus' name. Receive that deliverance. Receive that deep touch. Now, it may not just happen in a second where you just, like, feel electrified and, you know, it could happen like that. But over the next many days, listen to God's prophet here. Over the next many days, you're going to feel new things coming from the Lord. And this is going to be very supernatural because you'll know that it started by a prophetic word that was given right here on this broadcast. And it began to, uh, you know, reverberate and manifest in your life, in your world and upon you. And things are going to change. Can you receive that? Do you believe me? 
I'm telling you, thus saith the Lord, it's going to change. Things are going to change. Things are not going to stay the same as how they were in the last season, in the last cycle. Cycles are circular. I mean, you're going around in a circle. Those things need to be broken. And you need to go forward, straight ahead. On a, on a, on a level path, on a smooth road. And move ahead and make progress. And the Lord, my friend, is going to give you... Uh, the ability to do that now. You're going to see in a new way how that's going to begin to happen. Uh, I heard the word perfection and the Lord spoke to me. says, I'm perfect. And I saw seven attributes of God in uh, Revelation 5.12. It said he has power, riches, wisdom, glory, honor, blessing, and, you know, strength, those seven. For the purpose of what? Dominion. Read that verse there, uh, Revelation 5, 11 and 12. Very powerful. And then I saw, I saw this in an open vision. I want to tell you about this. I saw a cloud. It had like the Lord, those seven attributes of himself. Also, we see in Isaiah eleven two the spirit of wisdom, knowledge, understanding, counsel, might, and the fear of the Lord, uh, together as part of the, the Holy Spirit himself. That's seven again. Revelation, another place, talks about the seven spirits of God. In another uh, passage of scripture there, and also in Revelation. And then I saw us standing here, like that was God's perfection, and I saw us as, myself as, a, I saw myself in the vision, like wanting perfection. Wanting wisdom, wanting knowledge, wanting understanding, wanting counsel and might, and the f more of the fear of the Lord. Of course, we have it, but we always can use more, right? And then I saw this power, riches, wisdom, glory, blessing, and honor for the purpose of taking dominion from Revelation 5.12, Isaiah 11.2. And I saw them like two clouds, and then I saw them coming together in the vision like this. And they became one. And it was a manifestation. And then after that, I saw the big number seven and the big number seven in one. The big number seven in the other cloud. And in an open vision, in a heavenly vision. And then uh, some, some days back. And all of a sudden, they came together like this. Boom. And then I saw the number 77. Well, you know me, I'm a brilliant man. So, I mean, I thought... Uh, 77, that's a cool number. I mean, I like that. Seven and seven. Uh, our desire for perfection and your des your desire to give it to us and your attributes of glory that you have. And I, th and I thought, hey, let's put them together. I said, Lord, I'm going to make that a seed. And I did. And I sowed it into a certain anointed uh, ground. And the, and the thing began to just flood. From the next day, new floodgates begin to open of new things like i'm blessed all the time i'm a blessed man you look at me you talk you listen to a very blessed man very blessed but you know it's like something new began to happen from that vision that i had and i don't just attribute it to like me like uh, sewing or where i sewed it whatever of course i had to take action to get it but the fact that the lord initiated it from his glory world, from the glory, from heaven to the earth, then I said, hey, God initiated this, so his hand, his stamp of approval is on it. And I thought, this is amazing. So I want to make that a partnership seed. I'm sowing those. I've done several. And I'm seeing the tangible harvest back. I want to challenge you to sow that seed of $77, 77 euros, 77 pounds if you're in Britain or Great Britain or the United Kingdom. Europe, euros of the equivalent, like in Kenya shillings, would be 7,700. Would be equivalent of $77. And as a, as a turning point seed for you to begin to see God begin to move and give you these areas this empowerment of perfection and glory, you know, coming to you and the attributes of wisdom, knowledge, understanding, strength and healing and health and, and blessing and glory and honor for the purpose of taking dominion 
Those are kingdom keywords that have great power. I've taught on that uh, in time past uh, about the, the kingdom keywords, I called it. Very powerful. You need to operate in those things. Like the Lord brought them up to give them to us so we have power to walk on the earth. I want to tell you there's a breakthrough coming. You want to see a river of finances flowing in your life? It's time to sow. It's time to sow. Even in the time of famine has been, has been going on, stretch yourself to push yourself to say, God, I'm sowing into this anointing. I'm sowing into this. And I'm higher. Kura bastikolo. This is all by the Holy Ghost here. Hey, I didn't plan to say this, but I tell you, the Lord, the Lord is speaking here. Wow. And, and God will begin to bless and honor you as you do. So the information will be in the heading of the title of how ways you can sow, cash out, PayPal, website, uh, M-Pesa in Kenya. Uh, you can do MoneyGram. You can do Western Union um, uh, to Thomas Manton and just send us the control number. As you're doing that, and write me a note if that's the way you'd like to do it. But easier ways, click and, and you know, you're not, you have to go to a shop to do that. But instantly you can just do it uh, online by M-Pesa or by card on the website, by Cash App or by PayPal. Much, much easier. And uh, I'm telling you, I I'm going to be praying and prophesying. In fact, I'd like to be in touch with people that are sowing that partnership seed and, and have a word for you. I'll do that. You got, but you have to write me. I'm busy. You have to. You have to remind me. You have to put it to me. And also, as you're sowing that, I want to give you a, an ebook copy of either one of these books, "The Benefits of Excellence," which I also have in a digital format, or "The Laws of Success." And um, you will be able to get that from me by however you'd like it, by WhatsApp or by. Um, email, you could just let me know. But you have to remind me. Many people are writing me and asking me for these. And I, I have them in a digital format that you can read, you can print, you can uh, enjoy it. Keep it in your handbag. They're not too big. And just be paging through those and reading. And they're principle-oriented. Principles. Blessing verses and things of uh, words of wisdom that'll bless your life and help you understand how much God wants to bless you. So, and that's why I write these books to give people empowerment in, in the realm of getting towards success that God wants you to have. So, I look to hear from you and please do write me a prayer request. Please, you do that. You do that. Private inbox me here on this platform or write me on WhatsApp, the number will be there, uh, or you can do it uh, by a chat box on, on my website on thomasmanthon.com. I'll also get that, but WhatsApp is so universal and so much easier, phone to phone. So communicate with me, let me know what's going on in your life. I'm gonna pray for you. If God, God gives me a word for you, I'm gonna speak it. And I'm going to give you a word from the Lord as I hear from you in this miracle anointed seed of $77. I'm telling you, it's amazing. So you push yourself, make sure you do that. If the Lord is talking to you about a different amount, a different thing to do, then you just obey the Holy Spirit. But it's a time to sow. There's, there's a new season coming. There's new, a new river of revenue. Wow. That's a begin to, going to begin to flow. And God wants you to have that money in your life. He wants you to have it. So you can operate and you do everything that you'd like to do and everything he'd want you to do. In Jesus' name. Wow, this is powerful. Didn't plan to say that, but the Holy Ghost did. Thank you, Father, for the blessing of the Lord that makes rich and adds no sorrow. Thank you that you are the Lord, our God, who teaches us to profit. Even through the prophet, will teach you to profit. <laughs> and lead you in the way you should go. And Lord, I thank you for the blessing of the Lord that makes rich the wealth of the wicked that's laid up for the righteous treasures of darkness uh, and light and darkness and all kinds of sources in all kinds of places, even hidden places, according to Isaiah 45. We thank you, Lord, for the new thing that's about to happen, the power to get wealth, to, to create, to generate, to manage, to multiply money, resources, 
an anointing, an anointing for prosperity coming upon you for you to be blessed in Jesus' name. This is powerful. Thank you, Father, for this touch of heaven. And there's a river flowing. I'm looking to hear from you. And uh, I will be praying for you. And I know the Lord will give me some prophetic words for you. So I'm, I'm very excited about that. So I look to hear from you. Share this. Let everybody know that the Lord is moving here. And I release the blessing of the Father upon you. In Jesus' name. And we'll talk to you again here tomorrow. Love you much.